a 30 year old thin woman comes in to see the doctor because of worsening acne there is facial flushing associated with spicy food alcohol exercise or stress the flushing is severe in winter times when she leaves her heated house and goes outside she has history of acne when she was a child and this acne has completely resolved what's the diagnosis this is a classic acne rosacea or rosacea by itself like rosacea or acne rosacea okay this is dermatological condition occurs in female between ages 30 to 50 usually Caucasian in origin it's characterized by flushing papules and pustules pimples and swelling and dilated blood vessels there are no comedones unlike comedonal acne vulgaris what else there are four subtypes of acne rosacea first one is vascular also known as erythematotelangiectatic erythematotelangiectatic the second one is glandular or inflammatory or papulopustular third type involves the eye and it's called ocular fourth one involves the nose and it's called femitus because it leads to a condition named rhino fema okay what's the treatment for the simple vascular one we use topical metronidazole okay this is very high yield topical metronidazole yes that is correct topical metronidazole if it's more severe and there is like pustular or glandular we use oral drugs such as oral tetracyclines if the eye is involved we use ointment such as a zithromycin ointment rhinophema is severe 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 we treat it with surgery and it sometimes involved carbon dioxide laser surgery by the way rhinophema is granulomatous infiltration of the nose and this requires surgery it's deforming what about the flushing you can use alpha agonist to constrict the blood vessels use a topical agent such as a drug called brimonidine Brimonidine. Okay. Note no triggers. Avoid the triggers. Avoid the alcohol. Avoid the cold weather. Avoid the spicy food. Avoid the stress. Avoid the exercise, the, the sternus exercise. And also no steroids. Topical steroids are harmful in this condition and it leads to steroid induced rosacea usually a patient has seborrheic dermatitis and then we prescribe steroids 
and she comes with rosacea so take care of that okay that's acne rosacea in a nutshell please subscribe for new videos released every single week take care enjoy your time medicine is fun see you next video